Hi, I'm Monica. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my craft room. I am going to talk to you today about sublimation, specifically about sublimating the color red. I was having some trouble with that and couldn't figure out what was going on. Tried a few different things and I realized I wasn't the only person. I've, I've seen a lot of people having trouble with this. So I did an experiment and I'm going to show you the results of what I found. You ever have one of those things, one of those experiments or something that kind of gets out of hand? Yeah, that's what happened to me. Um, I know you're saying those all look red, but they're really not. There's a lot of, uh, some of them look coral. They have too much orange. Some of them look pink. I don't even know what happened there. Um, but anyway, I know you're saying they all look red to me. They look fine. But the, and I want to tell you the reason that I am searching for a better red is because we have a family photo business where we photograph children's sports and these kids have these uniforms that have all these gorgeous colors, reds, blacks, teals, things like that. And I want our photos that we take to sublimate beautifully sharp, crisp colors onto, you know, a tumbler, or a shirt or whatever I choose to put it onto. So, um, I am going to show you a video I made. It has, some footage from yesterday, some footage from today, uh, also some still photos showing the results. Also, we're going to um, show you some footage from where I had to empty out the ink from my Epson 2760 because I switched inks too. So, I hope you enjoy this. And uh... all right, we are getting all the ink out of the uh, Epson 2760. I have a bowl here and I put, just keep holding it there for a second, hold it. I put some paper towels down here. We, uh, I got a bowl, plastic bowl, and we unplugged the printer and, <laughs> and literally just dumped it upside down. Okay. I'll see how much we got here. Okay, now. Move it. Roll. And so I'm going to print 50 copies of this picture and we'll see how the first one compares to the later ones. Okay, so this is the picture that I printed out and the instructions were to print 50 copies of this. And I guess the purpose of that is to just get the ink through the tubes in the printer and get it out, you know what I mean, and get the new stuff in. So, um, this is the first one. So this would be considered having, you know, just using Cosmos ink. This looks very nice. And then this is the 50th copy. And I think that you might be able to tell a difference. I can. I'm going to put these two strawberries together. You can see there, um, this one is just kind of, you know, it's just not as sharp and dark in color. And this one, it just looks a lot better. Also, I can tell the difference with this right here, which looks like one of those formations at like Arches National Park. I'm trying to move it right underneath. There you go. And I can tell a big difference with that. It just looks more clear. I can see more detail. So yeah, I think this was very helpful to um, show differences here. Okay, so this is a board showing some of the experiments that I did. Um, I just got some polyester material and started, you know, sublimating the experiments this way. Um, I don't have experiments one through five on here because they just look way too orange. So I started with six and went up to nine and then I did 10 and 11. And so that you know, um, this piece of paper sublimated that. So every third, they correspond all the way. Okay. Um, now numbers one through nine, I was using the Cosmos ink and um, now, you know, 
a lot of people have good luck with it. Um, maybe it's because I use Silhouette Studio. I don't think Silhouette Studio like accepts print profiles from different companies. That could be what had happened. I decided to switch inks and that's when I did these two over here. These are with Printer's Jack ink and I think you can tell this one looks much better. And now uh, the next one, I went ahead and tried something else and this one looks more pink. Um, and so uh, then I made one more change and that was switching paper. I, I was using a sub paper for all those other ones. Now, the one I'm about to show you is the one that has Printer's Jack ink and a, this HTV Ront paper, okay? So this is the one, look at that, isn't that beautiful? So this one was with Printer's Jack ink, Silhouette Studio, and what else? Oh, an HTV Ront paper. I guess I'm saying that right. I don't know. Anyway, I'm very happy with this one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I did want to mention a couple things. Um, first of all, I didn't tell you how long I cooked them or anything. I did cook these tumblers for at 375 for four and a half minutes. And, you know, so that could have affected some things. Maybe people cook longer or not as hot or hotter or long. I don't know. Uh, Y'all do you. I'm going to do me. Um, also, uh, to be fair, I didn't try the HTV Ront paper with the Cosmos ink. And I wish I had. But I didn't receive the HTV Ront paper until after I had already switched out the ink. So I know that Cosmos Inc. recommends a particular paper. I think it's called Besties. I'm not really sure about the name of that. You can go to their website and look at that. Um, I actually tried to order it way back when I first tried, you know, started using Cosmos Inc., but it was sold out. So it must be pretty good. Um, so I have no experience with that paper. Um, and that may have made a difference. I don't know. Um, in my opinion, though, you know, what worked for me in my situation is uh, using Printer's Jack Ink, HTV Ront Paper, and I'm happy that I get to use my Silhouette Studio. Love that, because I really like that program. Um, everybody's different, so if you found something that works for you, you stick with it, because, um, you know, we're all different, and different things work with different people. So, I wish you the best, and I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.